Hi everybody, this is Carla. Welcome to the Happy Bookmaker. Um, today, we are gonna start decorating the France and Flowers Part Two Junk Journal. Part Two because I have another one that I finished really just before I started my YouTube channel. And, um, and I did do a flip through video of that if you wanna check it out. But I wanted to really, I, I, I mean, I'm, I think I said before, <laughs> I'm obsessed with France. And um, so I wanted to really delve into um, even more French in the theme and of course the flowers. And um, so we, we did cover this two weeks ago, this book made out of a cereal box and some other chipboard pieces and you know tape and glue and fabric on the outside fabric on the inside and i just i just love the way it turned out it has probably my favorite collection of signature papers that i've put together but i was kind of mindful on what i wanted to put in here and you know um, showing certain things and keeping it within the theme so we're going to get started on that in just a second but i had a question on my um when we made the, uh, when we constructed this journal, there was a comment and it was a question about where did I get all of the, the, um, the chipboard pieces other than the cereal box that I used to complete the cover because the cereal box isn't strong enough. So um, I have, you know, you have to kind of build it up and I have three layers in here. So, I mean, that was a great question and I, <laughs> I should have thought of mentioning that in the video. And that was a question by, I think it was Denise. And so, so I did reply to her, but just so you all know, um, you know, like you can also for the, you know, like I said, the cereal boxes are great for the exterior, right? For your base. And then you can also cut up other cereal boxes or other food boxes. Let's see here. Here's an example. This is one that I started constructing a while back. Wheat checks, my favorite cereal, by the way. So I'll probably end up with a bunch of these. Um, so it started with a wheat checks box. Um, I probably will do another layer in here, but on my second layer, this was just another product box, and it's nice. It's really nice, um, thicker um, chipboard, and I'm probably going to do, like I said, another layer in here, and then the bind, the um, the um, oh, I can't even think of the name of it. The uh, <laughs> part is going to be, um, it will have like the signature in here as well. So that's just like an example, but also like if you have like packaging things that come to you or like this was a package of, it was a uh, kit, uh, a scrapbook kit for Disney. And here's a nice, lovely piece of chipboard in here. And the ones that I used on this one came from I think it was a ream or two of paper that I ordered off of Amazon. And to protect the papers, you know, they um, put two pieces of this chipboard around it. So, you know, just like keep your eyes open for things and anything that is, you know, a nice solid piece of chipboard. And if it's thinner, it's okay. You can build it up. I've got three layers on this. I'm gonna have three layers on that one. And and it's it's perfectly fine to do that. I think it even makes it stronger. So. That is the answer to that question. So, okay, we're gonna get started. I'm kind of nervous because I haven't decorated a junk journal in front of anybody yet, so <laughs> this will be my first time for that. So in order to kind of stay organized, I did um, sticky, sticky notes, some pages to, um, you know, so I, otherwise I'd be just like, you know, looking through here for, it could be hours, you never know. So I got somewhat organized and sticky noted some pages and pulled out some items that I thought would work on those. I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty clear on what I wanna do. The exterior of this book will not be completed until after I finish the interior. Um, Cause I like to just kind of get the interior done and then whatever fun stuff I put on the outside is just like the icing on the cake. And who doesn't like icing? I sure do. Okay, all right, so let's get started. Okay. And, and I love the questions in the comments. Like, if I miss something, it's very possible that I might because if it's just in my head, you know, I might just forget about it. So let's start with this layout right here. And let's see, I stapled together a few fun things. 
because I'm sure you guys have other things to do besides just watching me. Um, okay, there's that. So these are the pieces that I pulled out. Oh, by the way, something really exciting. Uh, I mean, to me it is. I ordered some authentic French goodies um, that um, they're not here yet. Um, I'm hoping they're here by Monday and then I can do um, kind of, you know, show you in a video what I ordered because I don't have a lot of authentic French ephemera. You know, it's kind of tough to find and I did the other book with all the French stuff and, you know, there's only so much I can, <laughs> I can come up with. So I did order some from an Etsy shop. Um, I can't wait to see what's in there and then that will be more goodies to add in like into pockets and things like that. So I have a pretty good start with digital images and a few things that I have, but I am excited to get that order and we'll see what we get. Okay, so to start with this, what I would like to do is, all right, I'm already missing one piece. How did that happen? Okay, oh, here we go. So my thinking is, and I and I do two page layouts. That's just kind of the way my mind works. And I don't know, I like it that way. So what I'm thinking of is doing a, kind of a pocket with this piece. And this is a digital image that I spritzed with coffee and, you know, spritz both sides. I do this with uh, digital images. Uh, I know there's coffee dyeing, there's coffee staining. I don't know what category this falls into, but um, after it's dry, um, I take the sheets and I'll put them on a flat surface, cover them with like a cutting board or something. And then I usually put my great big stand mixer on it because it's really heavy. Although these, because I didn't give myself enough time, I ironed these <laughs> on a low iron. Don't like start a fire, but I just put them on, um, you know, my little ironing board and I just ironed them under on low heat and it worked perfectly well. Otherwise, I mean, they're fine if you don't want to do that, but they do get, a, you know, they're a little, you know, I don't know, lumpy and, and thick, and these books get thick enough, and so I'm trying to avoid some of that. So my thinking is to put this either down here or up here, and I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna put it up here just for something a little bit different as a pocket but it will be more almost like a belly band because it's gonna be open on each, you know, the top and the bottom. And then there can be, um, you know, journaling space up here and down here. Over on this side, this is a piece that, um, this came from a book called, what is it called? Um, At the King's Table. So it's like, it's like, um, you know, like royal, cooking, you know, different places like, you know, um, in England and like this says, um, boulanger, I believe I'm saying that right. So probably me, you know, French bakery, I'm guessing, but I just love the images. And then on the back side, I just have plain paper so that this can become a journal card. Okay. And there's a little envelope. It is a digital image from Graphic Fairy, which I love Graphics Fairy. They have wonderful images. This was a free one. And it's so, you know, on the sheet of paper, it's like this on a, you know, on a blank piece of paper. And I just cut it out and um, we're gonna glue it together and put a little piece of stationery in it. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it to the other side like so and so it's going to open like this and be able to pull out the stationery from the from uh, this side and let's see and we're going to probably attach um, an embellished paper clip to hang this from somewhere i'm going to do a little notebook a little mini notebook out of this this really pretty uh, this came from a it's a book, but you know, it kind of is, has like a magazine feel to it. And it's a book all on perennial flowers. And I just thought this was such a pretty image. And obviously it, it blends in color wise. So I'm gonna make a little mini notebook, which I'm kind of obsessed with little mini notebooks. I love doing them. And we, we need to decorate like the back of our envelope with something. It's gonna be probably one of these things. 
So, okay, let's get started. And I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of like inking. I like my Distressed Oxide. It just kind of fits in, I think, with the look I'm going for. So, let's cut this out. And I'm, I'm probably not gonna get to do all of these sticky noted pages that I marked. I just wanted to mark a few things and be prepared just in case. Just depends on, you know, how long I yak and <laughs> that sort of thing. So there's that. Just cut it out with the scissors. You could cut it out on a paper trimmer if you wanted. And we're gonna give it a little inking. Gotta make it look even a little bit older than it. I did, oh, I think I told you that, yeah. I did coffee spritz or coffee dye this. Um, so it, it already looks aged, but I like to do the edges. So we've got that. Okay. You know what, I might even do a little bit, just a little bit of this around the edge of the pages. It kind of just like, I don't know, frames the paper. You don't have to do it. I just really like the way it looks. Just adds a little something. And then cover your ink, unlike me sometimes, and I let it dry out. Okay, so I know I would have more writing space if I did it this way. But I just really want to do it. I think I want to do it like that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just stubborn and I want to do things a certain way. I have a picture in my mind and that's what I have to do. There's that. I'll just put it right about in the middle. So I glued it just along the outside edges. So now we've got a fun little pocket. We can put our little notebook in. Okay, let's assemble our little envelope. And let's also do a little, a little inking on this guy. Gosh, this is so cute, I just love it. Give her a little inking. I mean, it looks like a real envelope to me. I'm gonna even do the flaps. I had a um, kind of a craft paper envelope that I was gonna use and, and I will be using some of those. But then I remembered this and I mean, I mean, come on, look at the colors. It's perfect and it's really lightweight. Some of, some of those things can really add a lot of heft and weight, which, you know, that's okay. It's a junk journal, but. You know, sometimes I gotta scale back a little bit. <laughs> I can get carried away. <laughs> and I have to remind myself that not every square inch of every page has to be covered. Okay, so let's see. Is this how it would be in a real envelope? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, let's give this a little bone folder action here. Bone folder. Bone folder, just to make those nice crisp lines. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it, I'm kind of obsessed already. So, the thing is, how, boy, that's not very much to glue on, is it? Hmm. <laughs> it's probably not meant to be, well, okay. I'm gonna have to do this very carefully because I don't want it to stick to the inside. It, it, I feel like this part should have been a little bit longer. If that makes sense here, let me lift this up here. So we're just gonna get a little bead. I could use glue stick on this too. I probably should have. Oh, that doesn't even like begin to get there. <laughs> okay, put a little of this on here. Okay, I need uh, something to wipe my fingers on. Okay, all right. So I'll have to put something in here to make sure that this doesn't like, 
you know, stick to the back, which it's kind of already doing. Okay. But it'll dry quick enough that I won't have to worry too much. So a little bit of a little bead along here and along here. And fold that in. Okay. Until that's dry, that, yeah, it's actually gonna be fine. I mean, it's not like we're mailing it or anything. So, so now, which image, which image should I use? I like this little guy and I could cut it so that it's, you know, I'll have to cut a little bit off but it definitely blends in with our pinks. Or I could just kind of go rogue <laughs> and do the blue, which I really like that too. Obviously cut it out to fit. Um, I'm gonna do this one. Just because I just love the look of that. Okay, so I'm not gonna get too crazy on the fussy cutting because First of all, let's see how it's gonna fit. I'm gonna ink up the edges anyway, so it's not gonna be that, you know, it's not just gonna be plain white paper. And, oh, that's so pretty, I love it. Okay, so actually I know I'm gonna have to cut it probably right about there. Sorry, I gotta cut you. Okay, let's just do this part of it to see. This is not like actual fussy cutting. If it was, I would be getting real, I would just be like on the line of the image. We're just gonna get close, which is gonna be just fine for this. Add on, go around. And hopefully this isn't too tall. It's not gonna impede with the opening of the envelope. Let's see, Let's see how she does. Oh, I think that's gonna be fine, yeah. And I actually need to cut off just a little bit more of that. Th that doesn't bother me at all. Actually, if I cut off on this side, that'll bump that over. It's gonna go right, right in the curve of that. It's perfect. I'm just gonna cut that off. I have a new setup. Um, I got a new tripod for my camera phone. Before, my tripod was, I was straddling it, <laughs> and the pole was right in front of my face. But that was the only way I could think of doing it with the, the tripod that I had. Let me tell you, I feel so free right now because now the, the tripod is to the side, it's over, it's over here, and it's hanging over the, the surface. I mean, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but like, I can't believe I did all those videos with a pole in my face, basically. Um, I, I guess I kind of got used to it and I kind of forgot it was there, but you know, it's like, duh, why? <laughs> just get a new tripod. <laughs> Makes life a lot easier. And that's why I kept bumping the camera all the time because, you know, I could barely move and um, without bumping it, Oh, it's so pretty. All right, let me get this little guy down. And I think the, the most complicated part of this layout is going to be just doing a little notebook, which is not complicated at all. But it just gives a little extra space for, um, you know, journaling, and actually, you know, whoever the user is, they can take it out, stick it in their purse, you know, whatever, backpack, whatever. Um, you can use it anywhere, it doesn't have to stay in the book. Okay, that is so pretty, I love that. I, I mean, I can't think of anything else I'd wanna do to that. That's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of inking around this page. So this is also um, spritzed, but uh, um, stenciled as well. So stenciled and then spritzed with the coffee 
which is where the, the um, like beigey lines come from. And it's a technique I learned from the paper outpost, Pam at the paper outpost. And she, you know, you like stack up, you'll have to check that out. Um, it's really cool. Like you stack up your, your papers and you put like the stencil in between and you, you put like ink on it and you spray it and stuff like that. And you can just like come out with a whole bunch of cool paper with really not a lot of effort. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's make our little piece of stationary paper, which is, this is just graph paper that again, it's coffee speckled or coffee stained. And I did some little, um, I mean, I've had this for a while. I was gonna use it for something else and then I didn't. And it's got some little dragonflies on it. So I just wanna like make a little piece of stationery to go in here. And that's actually pretty darn close. Okay, let's see. Let's see how that fits. Oh, you know what? Let's rip it. Let's just rip it. We can get some of those kind of fun edges. Might be, might be too wide. Let's see here. Oh, let's see. Oh, cool. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I love that. Okay. So now the question is, do I do it so that I have a piece folded over, or do I? I could do this too. Or is it just like a single sheet? to do it like this and I just stuck it in here to see where it'll fit I mean if I had to I could trim off a little bit of this on the bottom I think I actually will and I would try to rip it but I won't have enough um, extra space to rip it you kind of need a good little section to hold it down and we'll do a little more of this. And we can fold it just a little bit past that because I want the, uh, the uh, dragonfly to show. And now we're gonna rip this section. Hope I did that right and it fits, still fits. A little crooked, but that's okay. It's handmade stationery. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's done. Very simple. Okay, let's glue. Let's see. Should I do that right? Okay, I'm just gonna glue this flap on the other side. I mean, I could just stick this in here. You know, as a free, as a free agent, sort of. But I like the idea of having these little flips and fold outs and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna do it just like that. Maybe a little lower. Yeah, just like that. And then this obviously can still be used for journaling or whatever. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere now. Okay, and let's make our little notebook. Okay, so I have to make sure that it's gonna fit in our little pocket here. And so now I need to decide, do I want a little fold over or do I wanna cut this in half and you know, make it flip up this way. <laughs> okay, first let's cut it. <laughs> let's cut it, trim it off. We don't want any of this white stuff on here. Trim her off. Where are we at, 24 minutes? Okay, we'll still get a couple more done. 
it's overcast today. It's not real sunny and bright like it usually is. So hopefully you can see well enough. I've got every light on. The windows are open, but you know, when it's overcast. We've had so much rain lately in Colorado, which is great. I love it. I love a good rainy day. Okay. So that is cut. I don't think it's going to make a difference whichever way I do it as far as like what's going to look good. Either way, I think it's going to be fine. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a vertical. Um, little notebook. And here's my extra little papers here. I have these little pieces of paper that are scraps from eight and a half by 14 paper that um, I got, um, somebody gave me a ream of it because it didn't work for their um, printer. And it doesn't really work for mine except that I cut off the ends and, um, you know, to make it fit in my printer so that it's now eight and a half by 11. And I have these, all, I've got gobs of these. And so this is what I've been using for my little notebooks. So, you know, pretty perfect. Uh, let's see here, so let's cut this in half. I mean, I'm not gonna throw them away. You know I'm gonna use them. I just wanna make a mark. And one of the reasons I wanna do this too is that when I staple it, see if I do it like this and staple it, it's not gonna leave a, I mean, it would be fine. It would be fine that way. Um, but if I do it like this, I feel like there would be a lot more space for writing. I'm not, not going to do too fat. I've done some of them too full. And um, like this little guy, I made this for the last one. And it's super cute. But it's so fat, I had to take it out. <laughs> it didn't fit. <laughs> so, <laughs> do what I say, not what I do, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I got carried away. Boy, I can hardly see that line here. Really tough to see it. Should have just marked it with a pencil. There we go. We're going to do this. We're going to trick it. Okay. Go like this. Down. Okay. And there we go. There's our front and our back. Actually, let's do this in the front. And this in the back. And our paper. I could actually trim off a little bit more because this is not, but that's okay. It, well, it doesn't really have to be. It doesn't have to fill up the whole thing. How does it fit in our pocket? Fits fine. Okay. All right. Just cut some more. I want it to be thick enough so that the pocket kind of holds it too. All right. Give you a little aging up. And on the back side, it talks about perennials and how to make them grow and all that fun stuff. And I can use a piece of the, um, the scrap that I cut off. Well, I, oh, I've got plenty of things I can use. Um, I'll want to cover the staples where I staple it at the top. You know, so it's not just raw and you know, and stick yourself with stick yourself with staples. You don't want to do that, and it's not very attractive. <laughs> There's that. Okay, so make sure I don't do this upside down. Okay, so what do you think? Front, back. Front, front, maybe front. Okay, let's do this as the front. Okay, and this like this. I'll have to trim these off. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, so how about six? That'll work. And we're about. that long. Let's straighten it out. I could measure, but I don't think it's necessary. 
put it on the line of this little grid, line this up, and then I know that I'm right above that little line. Okay. Very carefully, with your craft knife. You can go in and you can, you can age up your little papers. Sometimes I'll do, um, you know, a little stamp here and there. Actually, let's just do like the whole pile. I mean, nobody's gonna be grading us <laughs> on how we do it, right? It's whatever looks good to us. quick and easy way to do it. So, do this side. It's totally not even necessary, but I like doing it. Oh, glue. That. Looks like I already did this one. Okay. Oh, that was, oh, here we go. Here's one. It's not done. Okay. Keep finding more. Okay. I guess once you start, you have to keep going. Okay. So now we're just going to take all of our papers and I want to get them in the middle because I have a little bit of overlap. And then we take the most amazing tool. <laughs> I love the stapler. And we're just gonna staple the top. I'll probably do three. I already am, but yeah, we're good there. And I do go as close to the top as I can. One. Yeah, it's fairly thick because I really gotta push down. Okay. One, two, three, okay, and we have a notebook. Look at that. So now I wanna cover up the staples up here. And why don't we just take a little piece of our, let's see, under my pile here, a little piece of our graph paper that we just cut. Is that long enough? That's long enough. And um, here we go. We just need to fold it over and glue it on. And another little bit of inking. And I mean, honestly, when I make these little notebooks, I'm using scraps. And it makes me feel good to use them up because, it, well, it just does. <laughs> I don't like to throw stuff away that I can find a use for. I mean, I'm not a hoarder or anything, but you know, like when it comes to um, doing journals and stuff like that, there there's so much stuff that we can use, like little tiny pieces of stuff. Okay, cut it off here. Da, da, da. And a little glue. A little glue action here. Nice and nice and thick. And ta da! We have a little notebook. And see, this is the back side. Oh, I didn't get enough glue back there. The back side where the you know, like the sharp side of the stapler is. So that's really, you know, why you wanna cover this up because, you know, it's kind of sharp. And again, it's not the, the prettiest. Oh, there's our little notebook. Okay, and he's gonna stick in here just like that. So what else do we have here? I also, after I get this order of 
you know, these French goodies that are coming, I am probably going to go back through and, and add more. I just, I want to wait and see what comes and what, you know, what they have. And, um, and then I'm going to go through, this is kind of the first pass. It's, um, it gets overwhelming <laughs> to try to do like the entire page or the entire layout thinking it's completely done and you don't have to go back when I've got like 144 pages ahead of me, like 70 two page layouts. So I kind of do a first pass and then I'll go back. So what do we got here? Oh, that's pretty. So this is a double sided embellished paper clip. Um, I try to do one side neutral and then the other side with a little color. And I mean, you're probably all familiar with a regular embellished paper clip. Um, and they're just like, you know, plain on the back side. And there's nothing wrong with that. I have tons of them in my other books. But um, I was, you know, I was just thinking one day, it would be so nice if on the other side, you know, there was something pretty to look at. So let me get this in here. I have to do it from this side. Um, so I don't, I'm not saying I invented this and, um, somebody else probably has a much better way to do it. Well, let's go to the side. I like that. Oh, we'll go up here and let's stick our little journaling card in here. He's going to go under here and go under there. Well, maybe I should do it up at the top that way. He's not getting in the way of this. Either way, it's going to run into it, but that's okay. That is okay. So, yeah. So, we've got a little bit. This is carrying through. It's kind of a peachy pink, but it's still a pink. And then on the back side, I um, actually didn't even plan that. Look at that. It's got purple in it. I like to do one side neutral and one with a color. That way, you know, I'm not so locked in. But that, that works out really well. <laughs> I like that. Um, so if you haven't done like a double sided and I just had to sit and like figure out how, how, how is that even possible? So, you know, the way you make, let's see here, the way you make a regular one, there's my little piece of paper. There we go. Is you take your paper clip, sorry, try to reach over you and you, let's see now, you, you put it in with the small side like on the inside. And this is a piece of a, a like a backing um, for paper. And I, you can use regular paper, you can use cardstock. Doing the double-sided ones, I'm finding doing um, the, uh, doing heavier paper is better because some of this is going to be completely, um, uh, it'll be like flapping. Like this part is gonna actually be like flapping. So you fold you fold this over. So normally you would fold it over and it would be cut off here and you would you would just glue over all around here. Okay, so let's just pretend we're doing one here. <laughs> just pretend. And like I said, someone else has probably come up with a really good way to do it, but this is just what I kind of figured out on my own. So now we've got that okay so there's paper clip in here right so now you take this side and you fold it over onto this side so it's not attached right and yeah that that could be a problem but what we're going to do is uh where's my stapler i'm going to staple i'm going to put a little bit of glue And it's, it's not gonna go like to the edge of the page because you're gonna have the staple in the way. But I, to me, that's not a problem. And so you put a little bit of glue there, and you close her up. And I think this is wide enough. I'm gonna do two staples as close, can you see that? As close to the edge as I can. There. And right there. So. This is, let's see, do I have, here we go. So you're gonna decorate both sides, right? It's a good idea if you can to make one side shorter so that you know, like it's easier to see like where, where to insert it. So this is the flappy side, so you're not gonna stick 
this like this is your page. You're not gonna stick it in like here. You don't want that. You want it to go in between the two paper clips. So we know that there's paper clip here, there's paper clip here. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it took me a while to figure out, I don't know. And that's the way that works. So let's try one. Here's one that's done. Now this one, I did not do um, a longer side on one side, and but it's, I mean, it's fine. So yeah, this is gonna be a little flappy, but it's stapled and glued up top. So I'm not too concerned about it. So I'm gonna put it, this is my page. It's gonna go on my page in between the two paper clips. And now on both sides, you got pretties. So anyway, if someone else knows a better way to do that, I'm all ears, I would love to hear it. Okay, so we've got one layout done, okay. And I like I said, I'll probably come in and do some more, some more decorating after I get, um, you know, after, oops, after I get that order. Cause I don't, I just don't know really what I've got to deal with right now. They have kind of an idea of what you're getting, but it's not the exact things. And just for funsies, just do like one little, that one little tulip. Cause we do want to carry through our flowers thing as well. Woohoo, one layout done, okay. All right, so this one, this guy, what do we got here? Okay, let's see. So I wanna do a vellum pocket on this side. And we're gonna attach this lady in here somewhere under the vellum and on the music paper. I want to do this um, botanical. This is, I can't remember, this is either from uh, Macmillan Book of Flowers or, oh, what's that other lady's name? I can't remember. Um, it's another book of botanicals. Um, it's like a 10,000 wildflowers of the world or something like that. Um, beautiful images. So I am, I am gonna like ink these up a little bit. So it's gonna be something like this. I'm gonna have to cut all this. I've got a digital image that I've already done up. In uh, actually my first video, I did a bunch of things like this, um, showing how to age up digital images. So I'm gonna use one of those, unless I get something better in my order and I'll use that. So let's start with this. And then this can be definitely be journaling space. Um, yes, there's, there's pretty you know, colors and images, but it's definitely open enough to be journaling. So let's cut this lady out here first. Cut this lady out and let's see. I hate to reach over you again, but I'm, I have not been able to find my sandpaper piece for a long time. I don't know what happened to it. So we're just gonna have to use the um, ink. And then we'll do a stamp on the back to show that it is um, a postcard. This is another digital image from, uh, this is from Book and Paper Arts. Um, I, I can't remember if I got this from her website or from her Etsy shop but she had lots of beautiful French postcards and images. Um, and I just love playing with these. So get a little, let's do a little bit of, just a little bit of roughing up here. Make it look old. And I love that it's in black and white. I think that's so cool. Now we're gonna go over. I could just, Honestly, I could do stuff like this all day. Just, <laughs> just ink up little pieces of paper for fun. And do the back. I'm gonna get a little ink on that rip. And keep going around. I'm gonna do a little bit, just like a little swipe across. Because you know it's just on white cardstock. I printed them on white cardstock, so that is like a postcard. And let's see where that stamp is. Because I'd like this to also be a journaling card. So I'm not gonna 
like fill up the back with stamps. And I just gotta find that. So we've got this little stamp, this little guy right here. And it is not a, I don't think it's a French stamp. It says United States, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, and I'm gonna put it right here with the vintage photo. And I better get it going the right direction. I guess it doesn't matter because she's gonna be sideways anyway. And there's that. And we've got that. So she's gonna go in here and you know what? She's gonna go right on our embellished paper clip. How about that? Look how pretty that is. Okay, let's do a little more inking here. Just a tad around here. I guess I already did this on the other layout. Where are we at? 45 minutes. Ah, the time just goes. I don't want it to get too long. We might be able to do one more after this. I don't know. This might be it. We'll see. And a little bit of inking over this. This is going to be a process. It's going to take me a long time. <laughs> a long, long, long time to do this because um, it just I'm just not that fast at it. I like to ponder it a little bit. And um, I know some um, junk journal artists are really good at just like finding a page and no, just knowing exactly what to put down. I don't know. I like to think about it a little bit. Um, I'm probably overthinking, but that's just the way my brain works, I guess. So put this little guy down. And the reason I wanted to do the vellum is because if, you know, like if there's nothing in the pocket, I mean, we're going to probably put something in there. It's going to be pretty because you'll be able to see the image through the vellum. Now there is an issue that comes from putting down vellum and that is that you're gonna be able to see the, um, the glue. But we're gonna try to hide that a little bit. So, do that. Pretty, 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 pretty. I just love the floral images up against the music paper, I just think that's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, now, how are we gonna do you, fella? Okay, I think we're, I'm gonna do, okay, I'm just gonna rip. I'm just gonna rip it. I'm gonna rip it, rip it good. You know what that's from. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So, because it doesn't have to hold a bunch of stuff, you know. I'm just gonna stick something in there. And I'm not gonna be inking up the vellum. I think it's gonna be fine. I want it to be, you know, kind of transparent. So I just glued on these two edges, obviously. I want this to be a pocket. I didn't get any glue down here for some reason. It, it is hard, it is hard <laughs> to get vellum to stick, but I've done it successfully before, so it, it can absolutely be done. I got a lot of glue. I'm, I probably glued my two pages together here. There's that. Okay, and you wanna just really let that dry yeah, I mean, it actually doesn't look too bad, but I still think I'm going to take some, maybe some raffia. First of all, because, I mean, look, look at the colors. And I'm just gonna kind of edge around here. That way, if it is a little bit mucky looking, which it really isn't, surprisingly, it'll kind of hide that. So I'm just gonna do a thin bead of glue. This is getting it's getting mucked up in here. Pull that off. Because I left the cap off. <laughs> That's what you're not supposed to do. Okay, and then I'm just gonna basically start here. This is how the fingers get so messy. Start here and work my way 
around. And we're gonna turn the corner. Keep going till we get to the end. And it just gives it sort of a little frame. And you know, I'll come back later and if it, any of it's loose, I can slap down a little bit more glue. But that's that. Yeah, that's really pretty. Also, I wanted to find a way to use this. I, I just have a scrap of ribbon. It was a little longer and I cut it off and did the little, you know, pointy things. So I was like, what am I gonna do with it? And I thought maybe I'd put it around here, but it's too wide. So I think I'm just gonna stick it in here and it's gonna almost be like a little page mark and it is gonna stick out, but I, I kind of like that about it. I guess if it if I really don't like it later, I could cut it off, but I like it. I think I like it. Okay, this little guy needs a little bit more glue right here. Okay, we might go to an hour, you guys. Is that okay? I hope so. If not, you know, you can watch part of it and come back later. And I keep losing my my towels and stuff. That <laughs> All right. Because I'd really like to do just one more. I'll try to pick, pick a simpler one. Okay. Because I have been itching to get started on this decorating this junk journal. Now here's where you wanna, because you know, a ribbon is fabric. So you wanna kind of knock that down a little bit so it doesn't seep through too much. I guess worst case scenario, if it does, I'll be pulling up that ribbon and putting something else down. So just really get it down there. And I'm put him in here about even on each end and try not to get too close to the signature holes so it opens and closes all right sticky sticky <laughs> all right so far so good I'm gonna take this little guy which again, you know, you can go back to that first video, you can see how I did this, but I printed on both sides so it looks like an actual newspaper in French, of course. And um, we're just gonna fold this little guy up and we're gonna stick him in the pocket for now. We'll see, we'll see if we wanna add something else. And there's that, yeah, I like it. Okay, it's, it's good for now anyway. All right, let's see what we got for this one. I think this will be a simple one. Maybe, let's see. Um, thought I was real smart by putting these things together. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I think some of them got stuck together that weren't supposed to. Um, that one might be too involved. Let's do, oh, okay. And I'm starting to forget what I did. Okay, let's do this one. This will be simpler. I couldn't decide what else to add. So obviously, I'm gonna have to cut that down. Barbara Everhart, that's the name. Um, that's what this is from, that book of like 10,000 wildflowers or whatever it is. And um, so I fussy cut around this image of, uh, I guess it's a poppy. And we're gonna stick that down here. And this is another digital postcard. And I'm gonna use it this time just as a pocket. So let's start by cutting this out. <laughs> Staples uh, stick to scissors, did you know that? Somehow, they're magnetic, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Just, I'm just gonna ink this up. I don't know that I'm gonna like tear it and stuff because you also wanna make sure that when you're putting stuff in your pocket, it's not getting stuck on, you know, ragged edges and, and rips and stuff like that. It just makes it harder 
to, um, you know, get stuff in and out of the pockets. This and this. And I'm just like knocking that down so it's not so sharp. And a little aging up. I think this was part of a bunch of French Easter postcards. But I'm okay with that. I don't know what that means. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't speak French. <laughs> but I like it. We don't have to do anything to the back because it's going to be down here like that. So let's do a little inking of this guy. Now, this is the tricky part. Um, decide where, yeah, he's going to go like that. So I can cut this off really anywhere in here and give him a little ink. I've been leaving the ink open and it's, I can feel it's starting to dry up a little bit, but we only have a couple more things to do here. This will be, this will be interesting. Hmm, let's see. I think that's good enough. Oops. It's really flimsy. <laughs> My kitty is scratching on the post. I don't know if you could hear that. I have two kitties, two fur babies. My little babies. And before we forget, a little bit, just a little bit around the page, like so, like so. And a little bit here, just to kind of frame it up. Look like it's not floating. this guy down. And I don't even think I have anything for this pocket yet. Because I kind of wanted to wait and see, you know, what kind of goodies I'm getting. And I'm sure I, I will be able to find something in there. I'm going to stick this down. And I love the um, contrast of the red against this um, this gold, this um, tan color, and the sepia tones. I think that's so pretty. And then we're gonna go around here. And we're gonna leave the top free, obviously, because it's pocket. This, which is going to be down. Do I have a paper clip for this one? I don't know that I do. Um, I'll have to make some more paper clips. I like to sit and make a bunch of them at a time. And, um, you know, I can just slap them on when the time comes. But uh, I guess, uh, I mean, I have this one. That could work. And I also don't want to put one like on every page, you know. I want to kind of keep them scattered. I don't want to overdo it. Let's put it on here. As it'll be, it's kind of perfect. It kind of goes with the flower. And remember, we're going to put it in between the two paper clips. And I must have stabled that one way at the top because it's fitting on there really nicely. And then when I get goodies, I can stuff something in here and stuff something in there. And um, yeah, I think that's it for today, you guys. Yeah, we've got three beautiful layouts so far. And uh, a lot more to do. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I have to tell you, you guys, you're blowing me away with um, views and likes and subscribes and comments. And uh, I, I don't even know, I, words can't even express how humbled I am and thankful and 
I, I, I just love it. And thank you so much. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.